Betty St. Amant comes to the Y several times a week to exercise. The way she climbs the stairs and walks on the track, it's hard to believe she had a total hip replacement just 10 weeks ago. She credits the Y for her speedy recovery. I was back here at the Y in about five weeks. I was released from my home physical therapy and went to an outpatient physical therapy, and I continued those exercises that they gave me there here at the Y. Just look at Betty go on the stationary bike. She has a routine down that builds her strength and helps her hip heal much faster. Every other day, I alternate my upper body and then my lower body exercises. And I also um, do a cycling class. That's my favorite aerobic activity. Betty's husband, Skip, is amazed at her progress and knows the Y has played a huge role in her recovery. Oh, it's been been tremendous. Uh, she's she's always been very active, and the Y has given her the opportunity to continue her activity. Betty's determination is a true reflection of her desire to get back on her feet quickly. No exercise is too tough for this tough lady. She also credits Y staff members for helping before and after surgery. And one of the trainers here had a few sessions with me to try to help me get my muscles in the best shape they could be as I entered surgery. Everybody here is so much help. One of those staff members is cycling instructor Linda Buford, who lends a helping hand to Betty. I'm actually telling her to sit a little bit more back and use your heel to push so you get a little bit stronger, use a little bit uh, different muscle groups, but it's great for the healing process because I said, you know, it's non-weight bearing. Betty is going to pull herself back into tip-top shape no matter what, never once spinning her wheels. Could she have come this far without the why? No, absolutely not. I think I had good muscle strength and good cardio, and I was able to respond to the physical therapy and get out of bed and walk immediately after the surgery. Pedaling her way back to great health is what Betty is all about these days, and that won't end anytime soon. Doug Walker, reporting for your YMCA.